Okay, and that right there, that bright light, is actually Mars. And believe it or not, earlier in November, you could actually see it better. It was closer to the surface of the Earth, so you could actually see the canals on its surface if you just had a little telescope. Wow. Yeah. Dwarf. <laughs> So how do you know so much about the solar system? Um, I, I took a semester of it in college, but I've always been interested in it. I mean, think about it. Here we are, we're spinning around on this tiny little piece of dust, right, in the middle of the universe. Who knows what's out there? Well, all I know is about wishing on shooting stars, and um, I know a little bit about the patterns of the zodiac. <laughs> Whoa. Yes, I read my horoscope every morning. There might be something to it. Huh. You're not interested in that sort of thing? What sort of thing? Well, you know, wishing on shooting stars and astrology. Maybe even magic. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll make a deal. I will start believing in astrology when when I read my horoscope and it gives me a good stock tip that I take and I double my money. Until then, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm not going to put too much weight into it. Well, then what do you think about magic? Mm, magic. Hmm. Is that what you did to me, huh? Did you bewitch me? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Trust Kay to take all the credit. <laughs> so what if there are forces beyond our control? Mm. What if magic does exist? Do you mean like Harry Potter magic? <laughs> I mean like crystal balls and <laughs> fortune tellers. Or Spells that can promise disaster. What? Do you think that uh, an evil spell could destroy a relationship? Tear two people who love each other apart? What is wrong with that big blabbermouth? She can't tell him about our magic or she'll blow our cover. Oh, fiddlesticks. You've been listening to that ditzy fancy. Kay is trying to ignore the facts. She wants Fox to reassure her that the spell of success can't tear them apart. But she's asking the wrong person here. Endora, will you rustle up a telescope for Mummy so I can see how close the planets are to alignment? Because Kay can't accept Fox's proposal until then. If she does, it'll be disaster for them both. I need to see the dark side view of the universe. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Enchanted by Hubble. <gasps> you see, it's too soon. The planets still aren't in alignment. <sighs> Endora, not even your powers can change the course of the planets. Oh, but you've left a delightful new black hole on the other side of Pluto. Stephen Hawking will pop a wheelie. What to do? What to do? Planets need more time. Our okay, is patient. If she accepts Fox's proposal tonight, the two of them will be miserable for the rest of their lives.